Hello Overclockers, my name's Bryony and in this Overclockers Academy video, I'm going to show you how to set up your brand new pre-bought PC. It's definitely an exciting time and we're going to get you set up as quickly as possible so you can start downloading your favorite games and begin playing on your awesome new system. Step one is to unpack your PC from the box. There will be a large outer box filled with extra protection to keep your PC safe during shipping, then a small internal box that contains all your important accessories such as the manuals, Wi-Fi antennas and any extras that come with your components. Take it out carefully and make sure to keep your PC the right way up. Step two is to carefully remove the side panel. This is because Overclocker's PCs come with an internal foam filling to hold the fragile components in the place during shipping. You'll therefore need to remove the side panel in order to take this out. Depending on your case, it could be held on by several different mechanisms. It could be an interference fit, screws, or even a button. If you're unsure, the manual for your case will be in the accessories box. You can also have a search online or feel free to give one of our customer service reps a call and they will be able to talk you through it. Step three is to carefully take out the foam filled bags. They might be in there very firmly. Just take your time and slowly remove them without too much force. You might get the urge to dispose of the packaging, but don't. Keep everything that comes with your system just in case you need to transport it safely when moving house or even send it back to us for a repair or upgrade. If you're short on space, carefully flat pack everything and one of the best places I've found to stash PC boxes is either under your bed or at the back of a wardrobe. Step four is to check the cables and components have not come loose during shipping. Even with all the extra packaging and foam, it's possible your components or cables may have moved. Do a quick visual inspection to ensure there's nothing obviously out of place. For example, the large 24 pin on the right hand side or the cables powering your graphics card. The graphics card should be straight and held in place by your case and the cooler should be in place and covering your CPU. If anything looks amiss, be sure to contact us as soon as possible to get everything sorted out. Step five is to replace the side panel. Just do the reverse of the method you use to remove it. Step six is to set up your PC and first of all, connect your monitor. If your PC has a graphics card, plug your monitor into that and not your motherboard. Your graphics card is situated beneath the motherboard and has several different video outputs. If your hardware supports it, I'd recommend using the DisplayPort as it can achieve a higher bandwidth than HDMI. Step seven is to connect your mouse and keyboard via the USB ports on your motherboard at the rear of the case. Step eight is to get your PC ready to connect to the internet. For Wi-Fi enabled systems, you'll want to connect any antennas that come in your welcome pack or accessories box. Otherwise, connect an ethernet cable to the LAN port at the back of your PC. Step nine is to plug in your speakers or headphones in via the motherboard. Look for a green socket or headphone symbol. A microphone will plug into the pink socket beside this. You can also use the front I.O. connections if your case has support. For step 10, attach the power cable included in your welcome pack and switch the PSU on at the rear. Then power on your PC and your monitor. An OS will be pre-installed for you and will initialize from here. There's no need to buy or install one yourself. You'll want to make sure that you're connected to the internet during the setup process and download any pending Windows updates when prompted. 
You might also want to double check for drive updates and download software for all your different RGB lighting and peripherals. Don't forget that you'll need to set up a regular backup schedule to keep your files and settings safe. And that's it. With these simple instructions, your PC is set up and ready to go. Remember, if you do get stuck, don't hesitate to contact us and a member of our customer service team will be very happy to help you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and watch out for our other Overclockers Academy videos.